this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on The Last Guardian. I am here just doing my morning exercise, just jogging on the spot. Hop to, hop to, hop to, hop to. <laughs> I don't know why I'm jogging on the spot like this. Well, I'm probably a little bit worked up right now, because if you didn't see the end of the last episode, definitely watch that before watching this one, and you will know what's going on. There is a unfriendly beast. We got Trico, the, the, the friendly beast, and then we have another one, which just tried to, to eat me. And I was able to, oh, there it is! There it is, speak of the devil, up, up we go, up we go, are we okay? I think we're okay, just smash free for a second, but it's gone back uh, away. So yeah, that thing is after me, and it is far, far, far from friendly and all. Oh, is it coming through? Okay, I need, I need to be faster, drop down, no, no, drop down, drop down, drop down. I think, I think I need to climb up those platforms you see on the, the right side of the room, but it's really trying to break its way through. Right, we've committed to, to being in the, the room, let's go as fast as we can, because I don't want this thing to, to get me, because climbing up this high is not helping me at all, because I know how high these things can jump up. Right. I need to be really careful with my timing here because that's the gap it keeps charging through. No, it can see me. There it is. Okay, it's right there. Do you think I need to jump on its head? Do you think that's how I need to, to get to the, the other side? I think I might need to jump on its head. Well, let, let's wait till it pull its head away. Do you reckon I can make that? I think I can make that jump without it being there. Let's just go as fast as I can. And oh no, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I think I need to jump across its head. <laughs> I think that might be the, the only way I can get across. I thought I might be able to, to make that jump. But it doesn't look like I can, and to be honest, I don't think it can really get through anywhere uh, further than it's going. So we should be okay. And actually, there's a little there's a little gap down there as well. Maybe I could explore down there. But yeah, let's try this first. Right, there it is. Jump on its head, and then jump to the other side. There we go. It accidentally helped me. <laughs> I don't know if it meant to, to help me, but it accidentally helped me. It's like what Trico does, but from it's doing it by accident rather than on purpose. And right, it's poked its head through here, and let's get to the other side. There we go. Thank you very much. We're going to be best friends again in no time. <laughs> well, making it a new best friend. Right. What do we have here? So we've got a giant whale by the looks of things. Where is the beast? Oh, the beast is right there. Can it break through? I think that that gate should be strong enough to keep it away. Luckily, if I'm all the way up here, I don't think it's going to reach me anyway. I look at it just staring at me. I don't like it. I don't like the scary ones. <laughs> right. We made our way to the, the top of the room. Is there anywhere I can escape to from here? There's a gateway over on this side. Let's just have a look. Oh, here we go. No, there's an opening on this side. Oh, no. I think this is bringing me closer to it again. Oh, look. Has it calmed down? Oh, no, I thought I thought it had, uh, it had calmer eyes. It's always got the red eyes the entire time. Unlike Trico's, whose eyes are always kind of changing color, depending on what's going on. Oh, no, no. It's right underneath me. Let's see if we can get inside of the, the, the cage. And let's see if we can escape that way. Hopefully, at least it won't be able to, to get me while I'm in the cage. It's kind of smashing the, the ground, though. And when it does, it kind of makes me look lose my balance a little bit, but there we go. I got my way into a cage. Is the cage going up or down? Oh no, no, it's trying to get me. I'm like a play toy. <laughs> I'm like a play toy for a cat. <laughs> like a, a toy on the end of a, of a string. It's trying to, to chase and try and get me, but it looks like we're going up rather than down, which is definitely uh, the direction I hope to go. No, 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 I can jump high up. It's reached me. It's reached me. Oh no, it's pulled me down in the cage. I'm stuck. Do you think I can run? Do you think I can run? I think I'm like a hamster in a hamster wheel. Let's see if I can run to try and get right. Oh no, I'm limping. I'm limping. This isn't good. Trico! Let me try and call for for Trico. Don't let me call for Trico either. Oh no, I am completely stuck here. If it leaves me for a second, I might be able to to maybe run away. There is a um, there is one of the um the the helmets in the the cage as well. I don't know if I can do anything with uh, with that at all. But oh, was that Trico? I, th I think that might have been Trico. Something distracted it for a little bit. I can't really move though because I'm just limping. I was trying to, to make myself run away, but I'm limping so much. I don't think I can do anything. And oh, look at that. I think I think they're like talking to each other through their horns. I don't want them to get into a fight with each other though. I don't want, I don't want that thing to get into a fight with Trico because I don't want Trico to get hurt. I think that's what it was though. I think that was Trico calling it away. But anyway, in my immediate situation that I'm stuck in, where am I supposed to go inside of this thing? So I can control it like a giant hamster wheel, which is pretty amazing. I can't make my way up there though. Look, there's a little ledge. So I can't make my way uh, that way anywhere higher up. Is there anywhere else that I can try and make myself get to? I mean, there's there's the ledge over there. I don't know. I don't know if dropping down is going to be a, a smart idea right now. Oh, actually, can I make my way up here? 
I kind of made my way up a little bit there. Let's kind of just keep trying to, to run in this direction. The thing is, because it's not completely round, it's kind of hard to, to guide it exactly where I am, um, where I want her to, to go. I'm kind of stuck just kind of moving kind of two different directions at a time and kind of going back and forth this way. Uh, let, let's see if we can roll our way to the edge. Maybe I need to, to knock myself off the edge and then that's going to smash the, the cage open. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to make my way up there, though. I don't think I can. Well, let's try. Let's try having a, a big run up and uh, trying to, to get up that ledge. If I can go all the way over over this way and uh, try and spin it as much as I can and then now try and run back this way. Oh, this isn't much of a, a run up, actually. Can I make my way up? I don't, th I don't think I can make my way Maybe can I jump? Is that going to do anything? No, that is literally not doing anything at all. Okay. It's just, it's just fading. Maybe there was nothing I could do then. I think they just forced me to struggle for no reason. I waited for what seemed an eternity. Okay, so that whole time I was trying to escape, there was literally no way for me to escape. <laughs> I was just waiting for the, the game to, to pan to, to black. Uh, right then, um, well, I'm still here. I've woken up now. I have no idea how long I was down there for. Has anything changed? Let's call out for Patrico. Oh. Did you hear that? I heard something. Don't know if it was Trico or not, but I definitely heard a voice after I called. That's Trico. That is Trico. I recognize that cry anywhere. And oh. Is it up there? I think it's up there in like the, the mountain. You can see a little bit of light coming out. Oh, there we go. It's kicking out some rocks. Who is it though? Is it Trico or is it the bad one? That's what we don't know. Who won the fight? Oh, I still can't see. Is it Trico? It's Trico! We've been reunited! Hello! Hello, boy! <laughs> what have you been through to try and get back up there? Hello! Let's go and try and call out to him, see if he can come down. Well, I need him to, to help me get me out of here somehow. I mean, he hasn't got... He hasn't got a key. Like, what's he going to be able to to do to to help me um to help me be able to to escape? Because I'm still just just stuck in this this giant hamster wheel. Maybe he's going to be able to to pick me up and carry me. Maybe there's going to be somewhere where he can take me, where he's going to to be able to to open it up. But hello, can I, I I can't stroke him through the cage. I want to stroke him. I just want to go and give him a big hug and rub his feathers and say hello. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's see what he does then. Let's see if he has any ideas because while I'm stuck in here, I have zero ideas. So hopefully uh, he's going to come up with uh, with something uh, that we can uh, can do uh, to try and escape because I'm probably pretty hungry. Trico is definitely uh, going to be hungry because, well, let's face it, Trico is always hungry, isn't he? So let's see what he does. He's, um, he's pacing up and down a little bit, having a bit of a, a look around. Let's let's see if he he might be able to to grab that chain on the the end of the the cage and carry me that way. He's smelling the area. I think it's because there was that other one around here before. I think he can smell the the evil one scent maybe, and so he's just kind of smelling around and uh, and checking that the 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 coast is uh, is clear. So. What's he going to do now? He's kind of staring at me. Let's see if I can guide him anywhere. See if I can tell him to take me that way. By having the beast push, uh, push the cage, I was able to overcome obstacles. Okay, so if I... Can I do I tell him to, to push me this way? So I, I think he might just, like, nudge me up this ledge then. I don't think he's going to, to actually carry me the entire time. I think he's just going to... Yeah, I think he's just going to knock me uh, over this edge here. Let me try and run it there at the same time. No, keep going, Trico. Keep going. No... No, not quite, Trico. Good, good, good attempt. <laughs> Keep pushing, right? Let me tell him to to, to push again, and let's see if he's going to be able to, to get me up. Right, I'm pointing in this direction. Push me up, Trico. Right, and while he pushes, I'm going to run at the same time. No, don't push me to the side, Trico. <laughs> Come on, Trico, you can get it. I believe in you. Oh, I hurt myself. I think I must have got my leg caught in the the cage or something. I need him to like hit me like more in the the center or like kind of knock me over to to where the ledge is. He kind of keeps just nudging me to the the side. Let me try and like kind of run and jump as he does it, and see if that helps me out. I can't really move anywhere right now. Oh, is he gonna do it again? Okay, I think he's gonna come down and try and do it again. No, don't push me that side. No, don't. There we go. That's it. That's it. We're up. We're up. What's up? Keep going, Trico. There we go. Right. We got over that very small ledge. That's the, the first obstacle. I need to be extraordinarily careful. I don't know. No, I'm dropping. 
I'm dropping the whole way down. I'm on like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> okay, that is not what I intended uh, to have happen. I am now, for the second time in this game, stuck inside of a tree. <laughs> and this time, I'm stuck inside of a cage, which is stuck inside of a tree. So, not particularly helpful for, for me. Luckily, oh, no, 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 I stood, I stood too close to the edge. Okay, well, well, at least I'm out the tree, I guess. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one way to, to look at it. But I don't seem to be in a particularly better situation to, to what I was before. Right. Can I make my way that way? That seems to be the, the only way I can really go. I can keep myself rolling. Let's try and be really careful to, to not roll off the, the edge. There's a chain in the, the way here. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is good. This is good so far. Just about staying on. This is a little bit less good. And this is straight up bad. But there we go. Slowly but surely, I'm making my way down. You know what? I think I'm finding this parkour easier being inside of the giant hamster wheel than when I was actually running around on my feet. I'm just waiting to, to smash this thing really hard just so I can break it open. So I need to find some way to break it, break it open. I think I even need to, to like smash into something really hard or maybe find one of those magic circles. You know, the, the things that I stand on to get in the cage. Ah, one of those things. I wonder if I go and stand in one of them if that's going to, to make the cage open up. But it looks like we have a bit of a big jump. Can I bounce? Whoa! <laughs> I went absolutely flying then. Right, there's another cage that's kind of inviting me to get in. I don't quite fancy getting in another one of these cages for quite a while, though, if I'm honest. But let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can make my way to that other circle there. And let's see if I stand on that. Is that going to, to, to be able to, to open up the cage for me? I can't really move right now. There we go. I can move it around this way like this. Excuse me, Trico. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. So I need to kind of run on this side and then that should make me spin around. No, it's a little bit weird the way you control it. It looks like just the... Is it the way you face it allows you to, to go that way? Like you'd assume that if I pushed on like this right side, it would spin me around the other way. But it looks like it's kind of the... The, the opposite. So if I run on this side like this, God, I feel like I'm trying to park a car or something here, then run around like this. Trico, please, out the way. There we go. Now I can run around this way. There we go. If I keep going this way, this should lead me to the other circle. Nope, I've just gone straight into this one. Well, is this going to open me up this one at all? No, I, I think I need to, to get to, to that other one. But Trico, please just step out the way. <laughs> right, here we go. I think I can just kind of loop around this entire side here. If I go back this way now and spin around this way and Trico <laughs> gets out the other way, I should be able to, to get onto the, the circle. There we go. I got a, a clean route onto the circle. Oh, I can't get up. I think do I I think I need Trico to, to nudge me. So just give me give me a tiny little nudge, Trico. If I tell him to. Trico, if you, if I get him to, to nudge me in that direction. No, 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 don't go in don't, don't go in that direction. Don't growl at the wall. No, 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 I just need I just need you to give me the tiniest little nudge, Trico. That's all I was after. Maybe with a run-up, I might be able to get over it by myself. And there we go. I was able to, to make my way over it. Oh, look, it's doing something. Has it opened the cage up? Oh, it has. I, th I, think, I think I've opened the, the cage up. That did work. And I am free. And now I can go and give Trico all of the, the cuddles that I want. <laughs> like, let's go and uh, climb on him. I think I do need to go to the, the cage. But before I do that, I need to go and give Trico some affection. So there we go. Let's go and give him a, a bit of a, of a stroke and say, job well done, Trico. Job well done. So I wonder what happened to the, the other one. I wonder if Trico battled it or whether he was just able to, to lure it away. I don't know. Something tells me that we're going to be seeing him again at some point. Or her. I mean, I don't know if Trico's even a him or her. I did look into that, by the way. I did Google whether Trico's a girl or a boy. And apparently the game never says. And so there's uh, uh, some people having theories that it's a girl. Some people that are saying it's a, a boy. And oh, wait a minute. I'm all the way back here again. <laughs> I remember this place. Right. So I think the only thing here is that um, there's that... um. Uh, yeah, the guard thing there. But if you remember, this whole time there was that that helmet that was in the cage. Do you think if I put that helmet on the 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 guard that that's going to allow me to do something? It might seem like a crazy idea because I'm basically going to bring it to life and it's going to attack me. But it seems to be the only thing. There was nothing else for it. I would have to go and search for more barrels. Oh, is he? Oh, is he hungry? Oh, I didn't even realize that he was hungry. Right, maybe that's what I need to do then. Maybe I need to to somehow spawn in this guard. Maybe there's a barrel behind the guard or something. What am I doing? What's going on here? 
<laughs> I was just running a second. I press. Oh, it's not letting me pick the um the the statue. Every time I press to pick it up. Okay, I think I think it was just in an awkward position. And every time I tried to pick it up, he couldn't reach it and just ran around in circles. Right. Let's go and grab this. Let's take this down and let's put it on the 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 statue. Even if it doesn't end up well, like doesn't end up doing anything good for me, I'm just kind of curious to, to see what's going to, to happen because they wouldn't have that helmet in the, the cage with me the entire time for, for no reason. So I wonder, I wonder if there is some num-nums behind the, um, behind the stone soldier then. Let's, uh, let's go and have a little bit of a look then. The helmet. Perhaps attaching it to the suit of armor would reveal a way on. Don't tell me the answer to the puzzle. I always hate that in games when you're you're trying to, to work out the, the solution and then it just tells you the solution before you're finished working it out. Like, sometimes it's nice to, to have a hint, but when it's kind of forced on you like that quick, it's just a little bit annoying. Right, I need to, to kind of lure him away a little bit. If I kind of stand back here... Oh, I don't think he can reach me up here. Look, he's in kind of a bit of a ditch down there. Let's try and lure him all the way around to, to this side. And then while he's over this way, I can just leg it uh, this way and try and grab the, the barrel. And I think I need to, to bring the, the barrel back up, wi uh, back up with me in the, the cage. So let's see, can I throw it up here? I'm scared. Oh, it's close. Oh, no, no, it got me. Okay, that actually made me jump then. I need to get out of it. I need to get out of it. Right, let's try and get out of it. And let's try and jump back up to that middle platform if I can. Then let's see if I can um, once again lure him all the way to, to this side. Get the barrel up the, the top and then go and run all of the way back. I hate those things so, so much, especially when Trico's not there. Like when Trico's there, at least I have some protection. But when Trico's not there, it's absolutely terrifying. Right, I need to, to get this barrel up to the, the top somehow. And oh no, he's getting fast so quick. He's getting so uh, close so quick. And oh no, I didn't do it. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> do you think I can throw the barrel up there? I wonder if the, the wall's lower down in any of the, the other sections. I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's give that another go. I kind of panicked and threw it a little bit too fast, though, that time. And, oh, do you think I need to bring the barrel over to, to here? Because, look, if I bring the barrel all the way... Oh, no, it doesn't link up to there. The ditch doesn't go that far. Right. If I just do it all the way over here, at least then he has further to, to run. And can I get... Oh, I can't get it up. I still can't get the, the, the barrel up to that higher ledge. How am I supposed- does it go lower anywhere down here? Oh, maybe this section- is this like a ramp? Ah! Okay, there's like a ramp at that section there. I think that might be where I need to, to get to the, the barrel to. Might be easier said than done though, seeing as we have that thing chasing after me. Let me have one more go, just trying to, to throw the barrel up. Just in case I can do it this way. Oh no, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. That doesn't count as an attempt. Let's just do it from further back. Then I might be able to get the barrel high. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. That saved me a lot of time trying to, to lug the barrel around and trying to avoid that thing at all. Let's try and avoid these. Oh, they got me. They got me. You're just going to have to just spam all of the, the buttons uh, to, to kind of get rid of those, whatever those things are when they get to you. But there we go. I got some num nums for Trico. I told you he was going to be hungry. The question is, though. Why aren't I getting hungry? Like, I've spent how long in this place? How many times have I been unconscious and wandered around and how much jumping? Why aren't I getting peckish? <laughs> I'm just a little boy and he's like this giant thing. Well, I guess bigger things do get hungry quicker, but still, I wouldn't mind something to, to eat. Right, I don't think he's going to be able to, to to catch it in his mouth this time. He think, he think he might be a little bit too tired, but there we go, Trico. Here is your, your barrel of num num. So right, while he's eating that, uh, let's go and uh, jump on his back. And let's work out where we need to, to go next. So, I mean, that's kind of where I went last time, wasn't it? I kind of walked over that railing. So, is there is there anywhere different I can head to? Now I have Trico. Oh, look, there's a platform up at the, the top there. I wonder if I can get Trico to, to jump to that. Um, Lost your appetite, have you, Trico? <laughs> Why is he just staring at the barrel? Is it not close enough? Do I need to push it slightly closer to you? Look, Trico. Come on, I know you're a bit hungry, but you're not that pathetic. You could have got that barrel yourself. Look, it's right there. There we go. Now I moved it a little bit closer. He was able to, to eat up. Right, let's go and just uh, stand on his head. And let's kind of just point him in that kind of general direction. And let's uh, let's just kind of leave it up to, to him. And let's see where it is that he heads to. So actually, is he just going to... Is he just going to go by himself? I was going to like at first leaving it for a little bit because sometimes he just heads off by himself and you don't need to, to work out where you need to, to go. It looks like, though, uh, this is not going to be one of those situations. So he can easily jump across to that staircase. It's kind of where to, to go next, which is the, the bigger question. There is that one big pillar that I think we need to jump to that pillar and then make our way up there. You can kind of see that there's, there's kind of like a, a bridge really high up at the, the top there. 
Right, I've told him to, to jump in that direction. Let's see if he's uh, if he's actually going to do it. Right, don't, not here. Well, let me just tell him to, to, to go in that direction. And let's just see if he just jumps anyway. Because sometimes when you tell him to jump, he just kind of jumps in place instead of actually heading anywhere. It looks like now he's actually going to, to start jumping. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to not bother telling him to jump anymore. Unless I really need to. I'm just going to kind of point his nose in what direction to, to head to. And hope that he can just sort of work it out. So, oh yeah, there's two pillars. There's a little pillar right there. And then there's that bigger pillar, and I think from there, with a big leap, uh, we should be able to, to make our way up to the, the bridge at the, the top there. And that's going to be the, the new area, because I kind of went all of this way by myself, and uh, this is kind of the, the way that I would definitely uh, only be able to, to make with Trico, because... My little legs would not be enough to, to jump me all of the way up here. Impressive a gymnast as he is, he wouldn't be able to, to jump across these giant things here. And I'm always scared of these because they always look like they're about to collapse. They're like the world's thinnest pillars. And then there's this giant thing just leaping all over them. But there we go. We can go and make our way up to this, uh, what well, I called it a bridge. It's kind of just a, a collapsed column up here. And then... And then where do we head to next? Oh, it'd be quite nice to, to get back outside now. I've spent uh, quite a, a while inside in the, the dark recently. It'd be nice to, to find a way to get back outside. I think this here, this is the area that I rolled down in my hamster wheel, isn't it? I've kind of gone back to, to this area. It's nice to, to be in this area with a little bit more control this time than last time. And it looks like, yeah, we are just kind of continually heading up. And I can uh, see some um, uh, some sunlight at the, the, the top of this area. So is this... Is this the, the end of where you're taking me, Trico? Or are we continuing to, to go up? It looks like he's going to uh, keep going up even higher. And there we go. We have finally found some daylight once again. <laughs> it looks like there's loads of these um these kind of lift mechanism things around here. And oh, I know where I am. I'm all the way back to, to here. This is where I was battling the uh, the giant evil one. It's kind of nice being here with it being a, a little bit safer with the, the, the friendly one. That's the tree I was on. Then there should be the, the rope up there somewhere. Well, yep, there it is there. And so if you remember, there was a um a gap. I think the room's on the other side of this wall here. There was a gap that I needed to um well I didn't need to, I saw, and I reckon that I can crawl through. So I reckon now that's probably gonna be where I need to, to go. So I think I need to uh, to climb up on Trico here uh, to try and get through one of those doorways. The uh the doorways that the the evil one was trying to, to eat me through. <laughs> so if I go and stand here, I think I basically need to do the the same again because if you remember with the the last one, the um the, the beast, the evil one, was basically trying to, to eat me and poking his head through. And so now we can have Trico just go and poke his head through and do it that way. Well, actually, I don't think I need to. This is the this is the gap I was talking about. This is where I saw before, but I didn't actually um uh, go through. So, yeah, it looks like this is uh, where it's going to, to lead me to. So, uh, right then, let's go and carry on exploring over in uh, this direction. It looks like we need to be... Are we going up or down from here? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Ah, it looks like uh, uh, we're probably going to be heading up. Uh, but yeah, sadly though, uh, that is the, the end of this episode here. This has been a really cool episode. I love the whole hamster wheel section and... Um and yeah, all of the, the interactions with Trico. Trico seems to be finally, generally listening to, to what I'm trying to, to do. So yeah, it's been an absolute blast. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, as well. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to the next episode as well as the, the playlist as well if you want to watch it that way. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!